How's it going, Rednecks? We're going to be working on the uh, mud mower again, and this time I'm hoping to be able to take this thing out for a test drive and uh, involve you guys. Uh, last time I took this out, I had to drop the clutch because uh, the belt would fall off, so I addressed that issue already. I will prop this thing up and show you what I did underneath to take care of that. As well as I want to take care of some of this wiring, I got uh, three jumper wires on this thing right now. I want to eliminate all of them so this thing will start no matter what. As well as, since I did a, a wheelie and almost fell off the back of this thing, I want to get the tether taken care of. If you take a look, I already kind of got it half in here. I'm going to find a better place to mount it, but for today, I'm just going to mount the thing there. And then we got to get the wiring hooked up to it. And all that's going to involve is hooking up to this here black wire. This grounds out your coils. So this wire right here, this uh, black wire, needs to go to ground somehow. And uh, this switch is normally closed. So when I unplug this, it will close the circuit and create a loop. And with it plugged in, it will take it away. So all I need to do is hook the wire from the battery to that and then find where that black wire goes in and crimp into it somewhere down there so the key and the tether will work. So yeah, what do you say we take care of some of this wiring? We get rid of uh, all my jumper wires. We wire in the uh, tether and then I can put my battery hold down on. And then after that, I'll tip this thing on its side, show you guys what I did to take care of the uh, belt falling off. Then we'll load this thing on the trailer and we'll go take it for a test drive. Well, there we go. I uh, caught quite a bit of wiring out. The uh, green wire right there, the big long one that snakes through here. That was the uh, rear seat switch. That one was pretty easy. I uh, just cut the green wires and spliced them together. And the uh, white wires could just get spliced together. That was for my uh, solenoid right here, for my starter solenoid. And then on my brake switch down there, I found one of the black wires actually uh, wears would uh, ground out the coils so all I did is tied that this is the uh, two wires I use the factory ground right here and that goes to the the tether right there and then it comes back and I tied that into the uh, white wire here so that's the white wire come from the tether going to the black switch that was on the uh, foot switch so now I have a kill switch working and all my starter wires are jumped let's get this uh, battery bolted down and test and make sure everything works go everything was successful I uh, got everything wired up everything's working perfectly and in fact I did not know this but on the front of the kill switch if you push this button in well you have the key in that will actually kill the mower too I wanted to test that and that works so how about we uh, prop this thing up on its side I'll show you what I did to uh, secure that belt so it won't come off and then we got to load it up on a trailer and uh, go take this thing for a test drive. I'm excited. With the uh, mower tipped on its side, I'm going to show you what I ended up doing to uh, take care of my belt falling off. Now, there's several different ways you can uh, do this. Obviously, my way isn't the only way, but I'm going to show you what I ended up doing. And uh, I just used what I had around the garage. What I ended up doing was taking a piece of uh, conduit, welding um, nuts on the inside so it holds it kind of centered here. And this was actually two factory holes in the frame, I believe, were for the uh, deck mount, maybe a skid mount, and then uh, just put them things on. So that's how much uh, clearance I have right there. So now the belt can go uh, limp off of this pulley and not fall off. And then if we come to the back, the tensioner has its own right here, as well as I welded on the uh, original one that I cut off before. And then here's my pulley that I added to the skid plate below. I put another one right there, 
And on the uh, back of the driven pulley, I got one on the frame, so. So that was my simple solution to the belt falling off. Obviously, I got two up front, one in the back, and then one in the middle here on my idler pulley, and that took care of the belt falling off. You could put a guard all the way around. You just want to leave a little bit of room for this belt to slack up when you push the clutch in, so. What do you say we get this thing tipped back onto all four wheels, get it loaded on the trailer, and I will see you back at uh, Tyler's grandparents' house to uh, test drive this thing. Like an idiot, I must have left the key on that thing and it's dead, so we're gonna use uh, Tyler's mower. That's one of the uh, mud mowers right there. I guess you get a sneak peek at some competition, but we're gonna jump start mine using his. And we're gonna be able to see how fast this thing will go, so I'm excited. Yeah, let's get what this thing idiot. going. You're an idiot. Tyler apparently buried his all the way back there and mine through the belt so I'm gonna try and get my belt on and if they don't have that thing out by the time I'm out there uh, we'll go take a look at what they found themselves in all right we got the belt on hopefully the battery has enough charge to start yeah go try and catch up with them too <laughs> fast. Alright, I guess they're challenging me to that uh, mud hole, so let's see what it's got. No way! I didn't make it. My tires are junk. Uh, obviously, once my new tires come, that's going to help a lot. He's got some crazy tires on his. It's just not fair. Yeah. None of us care. Hold on. What's going on? You're still running, huh? Uh, nothing. <laughs> All right, next, we're going to try the uh, action camera out. I'm going to do a few laps with mine. And uh, that was Matt. Mine. And then uh, see what it looks like on this thing. Hopefully that footage will turn out. I have a feeling it's going to be a little jumpy, but that's what these tests are for. So see what that thing will do. I want to uh, check the speed of uh, how slow it will go and the uh, fastest speed. So yeah, I'm excited. That thing is fast. All right, let's see if I can't kill myself. <laughs> Oh! 
Mine just threw the bell. All right, what do you say about speed again? <laughs> Reliability is more important than speed. We're back in business, boys. Uh oh. <laughs> Why is it going backwards? Did I put the belt on backwards? I think I... <laughs> this sucks. I can't believe I put my belt on backwards. We're back in business for a second time. Woo! Man rednecks, that's uh, pretty fun. Hopefully the uh, footage from the uh, DJI Osmo turned out good. Uh, yeah, this thing is fast. I think it said 13 mile an hour in a high range third and two mile an hour in low speed first. Um, and I think about three weeks, three or four weeks, I'm gonna be going to Muskegon and I'm gonna race this thing in an off-road mower race. And uh, they allow up to 15 mile an hour and I'm gonna tell you right now, I ain't ready for that. I'm gonna run it anyways. Hopefully I don't get hurt, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and get back to work.